take it easy on the old guy. <laughs> and uh, I didn't respond until I got in my car, and then I did. <laughs> except when I wanted to fire him for the Epcot project. <laughs> Fortunately, two other vice presidents, Orlando Peroni and John Dovich, had beaten me to it. <laughs> Bob uh, sent me a press release 
that he was going to be the Grand Marshal of the 90th Annual and on uh, Halloween parade. I think Alice was in the parade too. So I sent him this note, Gerb. I don't scare easily, but this one has me shaking in my vampire costume. <laughs> I kept thinking, all those little kids scared shitless along the parade route. <laughs> Bob wrote me back. They'll never know it's me, I'll be wearing a pumpkin head. <laughs> Probably an engineering. 
engineering flaw by that famous engineer, Bob Gurr. <laughs> <laughs> and he wrote, better by shoe than train. <laughs> and my response was, anyone who still uses the word spiffy should be taking the train to Orlando. <laughs> 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 and there was another true confession. He says, he, he did a, um, an awards luncheon and they recorded it. And uh, it said, he said, finally I get a written speech so I don't have to make up more stories. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case Gurr is recording this with lawyers. <laughs> Here's my protection. A couple of reminders. Um, he sent me this note. You're so funny, a delight to email with. <laughs> and then again, I love you. You give me the best put-downs, classics, and all true. Remember that? <laughs> oh, and, and, and one more thing. A lot of these emails were accompanied by photographs. And here are a few examples with the stories about them. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 